I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll talk about modeling distance speed and time so let's take an example let's say we have an object which starts from rest so let's assume that we have an object somewhere here and that is our starting point right so this is our starting point <laughs> then what happens is it moves at an average speed of five meters per second for let's say four seconds east okay so let's that be the second option so we are saying it moves five meters per second for four seconds east that is it moves like this in this direction so that is the movement right so in this example what we will consider is that in all our cases whenever we talk about an object we'll take a movement which is at a constant speed okay so so we say that it moves five meters per second for four seconds and then stops let me use another ink stops for let's say one second stops for one second and then and then let's take uh, then let's say it returns to original position in two seconds okay so it's a journey or the object starts here it moves at an average speed of five meters per second for four seconds right east stops for one second returns to the original position in two seconds so so let us say that <clears throat> The whole distance which it, it is going to cover in four seconds is, let me go like this. Uh, let's go like this. Okay. So five and five, five meters per second in two seconds. So in two seconds, when time is two seconds, when time is two seconds, the distance will be five times, I mean, I should have written four seconds, right? It moves at an average speed of 5 meters per second for 4 seconds, so distance will be 20 meters, right? Now it stops for 1 second, so it stops, so I mean, the time moves on, so we can just say a line like this, and then it returns, and then it returns the complete distance in 2 seconds, that means at this moment we have time which is stops for one second so four plus one five seconds however the distance d is still the same 20 meters and then when it returns at this time the time is equals to four plus one five and two seconds that means seven seconds and the distance now from the starting point is zero so that is the journey which we are showing in one dimension do you see that this is the journey which we are shown in one dimension so actually it happens all in one straight line but since i didn't want to mess it up i kind of created something like this now in one dimensions it becomes very difficult to display this kind of data so what we do normally is that we plot it on two dimensions and that is what we call a distance time graph right so that is your distance time graph so we'll call time t along the x-axis and this time will be in seconds and here we'll say distance from original point o and we'll keep distance in meters is it okay 
time moves on so let's say these are our divisions for two seconds two seconds four seconds six seconds so this is our two seconds division this is four seconds and so on when we say that an object starts from rest that means the object is is at the original point and we are considering from this point it moves at an average speed of 5 meters per second for 4 seconds so in 4 seconds it covers a distance of 20 meters right so let's say this is this is 10 and this is 20 okay so we'll call this distance as 10 meters and that as 20 meters and what we are saying is that it moves at an average speed of 5 meters per second for 4 seconds so after 4 seconds it actually reaches a point which is 20 meters away from the origin right so so this line from here to here represents the movement so it moves at an average speed of 5 meters so speed is constant so this line actually represents movement at uh, an average constant speed and at this point you see after 4 seconds we have a distance of 20 meters it stops for 1 second so let us say that stopping time is so each division is 2 so let's say this is 5 for us so it stops that means the distance remains constant 20 that is this position is it okay but the time moves from 4 to 5 and then it returns to original position in 2 seconds so 5 and then to 7 at this point it returns so it comes back which can be shown in distance time graph like this and that is the return journey do you get an idea <clears throat> so this point is at 7 as shown here so that's a line diagram rectilinear motion along a path so let me call that as a rectilinear motion along a line or a path and here we have distance time graph distance versus time uh, so we take time on the independent axis which is x-axis and distance is dependent on time so it's taken on the vertical axis now what all you see here is that every straight line in distance time graph you can find slope of the line so slope of each line represents what speed this is important to understand so if you find slope of this line let's say let's say we move from point o to a then slope of oa is how much this is slope we are calling that speed between o to a so distance covered vertical distance so let's form a triangle here distance is 20 meters and time is 4 seconds so it is change in distance we call this change in distance over change in time change in distance is 20 meters and change in time is 4 seconds and what we get here is 5 meters per second so which is the speed at which it is moving do you get an idea right now that is how you calculate speed from the graph or if the speed is given you could actually draw a line with a slope of 5 meters per second correct anyway now can you find slope between a to b so what is the speed between a to b clearly you can see the change in distance is zero right so change in distance over change in time it is zero over one second which is zero that means stop not moving stand still and what is the speed between b to c let's call this point as c here okay let's call this point c here so so between b to c change in distance over change in time 
h actually covers a distance of 20 meters since it is coming down minus 20 0 minus i should have written so 0 is the final distance and the time change is this was at 5 right so 7 minus 5 which is minus 20 over 2 and that is minus 10 meters per second so it's a very high speed at which the body the object returns and minus means that distance decreases while the object moves so at times we will consider the negative as return journey or where the distance decreases right so so that is how we could actually represent the movement of an object in two dimensions a graph x and y axis for example is a two dimension a line is one dimension so we are just showing distance and writing time on top of it to give you an idea right so this is a better representation whenever we talk about uh, distance and time and from this we can actually see and find or calculate many values now the question for you from here is can you find the average velocity of the journey so question for you is uh, let me write down here question for you calculate average speed let's say <coughs> of trip of this object so that you can find total distance covered is how much well the total distance covered is not zero it is 20 going and 20 coming right so it is 40 is the total distance covered and total time taken is 7 so the answer should be 40 over 7 meters per second is that okay so that is how you could also find average speed of the whole trip so what we have done here is we have a description and based on the description we represented the information in the form of a rectilinear motion along a line and also we represented the same information in two dimensions as a distance time graph we calculated speeds at different times and uh, also the average speed of the whole trip now at times the same question could be the other way i may give you the distance time graph and you may have to write a story based on it so we'll take that also as an example i'm providing a link for that in this particular video so i hope this helps you to understand how to model movement especially of an object going along a straight path with the help of this example and in this example we have taken speed to be constant we'll take a few more examples where the speed will be changing and i hope that will help thank you and all the best